Welcome to Platinum Skincare Medi Spa. Today we're going to be performing a salicylic acid chemical peel. Salicylic is a wonderful acid if you have oily skin or you're acne prone. Come on back, I'll show you how it's done. We're going to be performing a salicylic acid peel. This one happens to be a 15%. Uh, salicylic is great for skin that is prone to blackheads, breakouts, large pores. Uh, it's a beta hydroxy acid and it's drawn to oil. So it's very, very beneficial for this skin type. The only people who should not do this peel are people who are allergic to aspirin. Or if you are pregnant, you won't want to use an aspirin product. So right now we're going to cleanse the client's face. That's always the first step. Okay, now that our client's skin has been cleansed, we're going to go ahead and apply our Prep A solution, which will degrease the skin. There might be a slight stinging sensation with this. Once your prep solution has air dried, you can start applying the peel. You'll just want to pour a small amount into a cup. You can now take your gauze pad and dip half of that in there and saturate it. Just tap it off on the side so it's not dripping. And then we can go ahead and apply that to the client's face. With this particular peel, there will probably be an instant sensation of either itching or stinging. That's normal. And we're going to go ahead and time it. I'm going to set it at four minutes, but we're going to go ahead and go by how she's feeling. As long as we keep it on for a minimum of a minute, we'll get some good results. Is it feeling okay? Is it burning at all? You can turn the fan on. That's not burning bad? Good. Well, I'm going to jot that down because next time we might want to do a stronger one. I set it for four because I wasn't sure how she was going to feel because she hasn't had it in a while. But we can do five minutes. Not irritating at all? I can feel it start tingling. Not too bad? Okay. Well, we could do a 25 next time. We'll leave it on for five minutes, then I'm going to put add an extra minute onto this. Yep, 
You have about 30 more seconds. You're feeling more tingling as we're going? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, at this point, we're gonna end the peel and we're gonna go ahead and apply neutralizer to her face. Now that the peel is neutralized, we're going to cool the client's skin with some nice ice cold water until they feel normal. No irritation. Does that feel good now? Yes. Good. Now that the client's skin is cooled and rinsed, we're going to apply a soothing topical. We're going to use emu oil because it is healing and antibacterial and very soothing if, in case there is any residual irritation. Okay, this concludes our salicylic peel. The only one thing that I will recommend after you've had a salicylic treatment is that we suggest you drink lots of water today. Okay. I, I know at the end that my skin always feels clean and smoother. I, I like the way it all feels after. It, usually in the next couple days I feel like a little bit better. Do you usually get some flaking after a few days? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Goes a little bit okay. And then next time we might want to do a higher percentage. This time we did a 15%. We might want to bump you up to a 25% next time. It's a big jump, but you'll definitely get more action from that, more peeling. Okay. So you might have to work it into your schedule.